Hello, uh, this is Gary Butterfield, and this is uh, Perfect Isaac. So, um, a while back, uh, excuse the noise of the fans, it's hot. Um, a while back, I attempted to record an episode where I just kind of did everything perfectly as my final Let's Play before Rebirth comes out. And uh, due to the settings on um, the settings on my um, recorder, it didn't record the audio, so I'd have to do post commentary. Um, I think post commentary is kind of a bummer. Um, you have to kind of be fake spontaneous. So the idea behind this is I'm going to uh, just kind of give, you know, make all the decisions because Isaac, like any roguelike, can be played kind of like Blackjack. If there's a perfect version of it. Um, and I'm playing as Isaac, which a lot of people probably don't have unlocked. But once you do, kind of the real, the metagame opens up because you are constantly doing risk reward with your rerolls. Every D6 that takes three, uh, three rooms to recharge. So uh, I'm shooting poop because they can have money in it. Um, I have the Yum Heart, which I don't want. Um, I'm going to take it and use it, however. Um, I think it is to take it, so it does not show up again. And then reroll that. That is Little Brother. That's probably worth grabbing, um, Little Brother Bobby. Um, I am going to grab that. So not great. Like, he's the worst of the familiars you can get. Um, they're like the basic familiars, but I'm not going to turn down a little extra damage. I'm not going to fight the boss yet because I want to have a reroll ready for it and I have enough rooms. So the, I like the, you know, uh, that was not optimal actually. Oh, that's actually, that's great though. Um, I, I wish I could say I did that on purpose because blowing those guys up near a wall. Um, okay, this is worth playing two cents because they have a pretty good drop rate for trinkets. I don't have one. A spirit heart would be welcome. I mean, didn't get any. Considering, I thought about blowing it up, but I'm not going to. I only have one bomb. If I had another bomb, it might be worth it. When you blow those up, you tend to get trinkets as well. Um, trinkets can be as powerful as items if you get cancer um, for the, uh, the the damage one. Um, that's names I'm forgetting. So this is good. Um, running into mini bosses early on in the game when they're easy. Um, like easy mini bosses, extra rooms. All these are positive things. So this is actually great. Um, uh, and Envy's not actually too hard. There he goes. I got a tarot card for my trouble. Wheel of Fortune is going to give me a, uh, a slot machine. So uh, Secret Room, you can see the Super Secret Room is never bordered by any other things. The regular Secret Room is always. So this is probably the Secret Room. And uh, that obviously gets harder to... Uh, to suss out as you go. I have no keys, I have no bombs, um, so I can't do anything with that money right now. I could uh, use the Wheel of Fortune to get some keys, and I'll do that on the next floor if I ha if I get nothing. So um, Here we have Pin. Pin's very easy as far as strategies, just kind of watch. Um, you essentially just want to make sure you don't let him run into you and, uh, and stay moving. Occasionally, he will pop out and do a little, like, shoots in all four directions move, I believe. Um, this, or no, he does a bomb, yeah. But the bomb can hurt him. Um, widely considered to be the easiest boss in the, the game. Him and uh, Duke of Flies. Um, so. You can uh, really play with fire and uh, try to tempt him into blowing himself up. And I did not do that. Um, so I have a reroll ready, but I'm not going to reroll because meat is one of the best pickups you can get from a boss. It is an HP up and a damage up. And I think a very mild tears up. I could be wrong about that. Don't uh, don't freak out on me if I am, but as I said before, damage is really the stat that matters in Isaac. Um, and I'm trying not to get hit here. If I do, it's not the end of the world. But not getting hit during this, uh, this level is going to increase my chances of getting a deal with the devil. Um, I probably will be coming back for that chest a little bit. And uh, it's actually turned out to be not the way I wanted it to be um, because there are two, I was going to try to blow up the... Um, there we go, that's great. So Telepathy for Dummies, one of the worst items in the game. 100% uh, worth a reroll. So there's just no question. Um, the Hourglass is actually not a bad item. Again, 100% worth a reroll, however. Um, but I'm going to grab it and use it. And then come back. 
Um, I would like one more bomb to make getting that treasure chest worthwhile. Um, the reason why is because if I could put a bomb here or here, I can also check for a secret room at the same time. Um, but right now it's a little bit risky. I'll probably still do that, but we want to see how this goes. And I know I can always get a uh, use my slot machine to grab some extra keys and stuff. Um, let's go ahead and do that now. So this is where I'm hoping the uh, the secret room is. Doesn't look like it. That's okay. I get a penny treasure chest with a pill. Um, always take pills. As you can see, that's very good. Not getting hurt on this floor is going to help me uh, get a deal with the devil. And uh, right now I'm really just trying to get a, uh, a reroll. Going for that hourglass. At that point, I'm going to take anything they'll give me. Dead bird, whatever, because it's passive. I'm not going to get a third one. Okay, so I will have a reroll after the boss. So let's go ahead and do this because if I get a deal with the devil, it might be worth using the reroll there. That's maximizing my uh, number of rerolls I get on one floor. Duke of Flies, even the champion Duke of Flies is pretty easy. As you can see. One of my favorite designs in the game. I've always liked how this guy looks. So again, if I don't get hurt, I don't lose any regular hearts on the level or the boss increases my chances of um, getting a, uh, a deal with the devil. So getting hurt there is not going to actually hurt me uh, because I just lost spirit hearts. So I have a pretty good chance. And you see, I got it. I'm not going to turn down this HP. Saving my reroll. This is very interesting. Um, I'm going to do something really risky because I have spirit hearts. So we're going to take um, the nine lives, and then we're going to take Guppy's head, which is going to take a life. I'm going to use it. And then we're going to reroll this. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I am Guppy. Hear me roar. <laughs> That's fantastic that I was able to do that in one, one level. Even losing that reroll uh, thing will make this worth it. Guppy is incredible. Um, flight, obviously. I am one hit away from dying. I did lose all my spirit hearts, which I didn't think I was going to. Um, this sucks. But you can see I am doing a lot of damage. Um, there's a very good chance I could die to this, actually. Um, but I need to build up some spirit hearts. So now, rather than... Um, oh, shit. Shit. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. All right. Let's avoid that for now. Trying to keep the flies straight, the good ones versus the bad ones. Not going to get another reroll. Um, that's probably not worth it. I would love to have two more cents, though, to go to the shop. Um, and there's only a couple places where the uh, secret room could be, I think. So let's see if it's here. It's not, so I think it's going to be up here and over. And the reason why I want to go in there and get some money, because if I go into the shop and it has the Book of Revelations, that's definitely going to be what I grab. Plenty of money. So I'm hoping for something good in the shop. Um, I'm considering fighting Envy. Um, I will get... Uh, he can drop uh, Forever Alone, which is a you know worthwhile item for free. Uh, treasure map, 100% worth it. Um, bomb, probably worth it. Pill, I'm not going to risk it for the money because I have a nice even 15 cents. Um, since we're still pretty early on and I've got a lot of extra lives, let's give Envy one extra shot here. There was also, I think, a chance that he could have been regular Envy. The thing about these flies is it's very hard to concentrate on one subset of these things. Get him, flies. Get him, flies. Good. All right. 
nothing, well, this pill might be good. I will take that. Well, that's bad. But interesting nonetheless. Um, so I didn't lose too much there. Um, as you can see, I am a super glass cannon. So these decisions I'm going to be making, you know, doing my best to actually make the right decisions um, is going to be even more important. Um, I would love it if I could get one more room and re-roll this hourglass. I can't. It's okay. And you'll note that I'm keeping my Wheel of Fortune in case I need a key on the next floor. Um, um, and that's frustrating and I have access to that, so I'm not going to do it. So keep it moving, using my flight defensively, since I'm so hurting here. Um, ended up not being worthwhile, but worth the risk because I need keys. And I'm going to have to spend money to get those keys when I'd rather, you know, buy a book of revelations. You can see just how many flies I'm building up, like, um, Guppy is just incredible. And there's going to be tons of damage. It will honestly be hard for me to, to lose at this point, as long as I get decent luck and continue to play correctly. Um, oh, so there's actually, I made a mistake. I should have gone to the shop where I could have actually bought a key, probably. Um, that was bad. Um, bad play. Um, I will take this, the virus, because I do want to make my way into that shop eventually. And I'm hoping I can. Keys are the name of the game here. Um, the virus is not a great passive, but uh, it's not bad. And every uh, penny I get is worthwhile because it's one more chance on the, um, the slot machine that doesn't count toward my... Um, there we go. Doesn't count towards my 15. So let's go ahead and head into that shop while I have a reroll ready. But don't do as I do. Go into the shop first, people. Um, this time I did not happen to have a key, and I'm faced with this choice of the steam sail. I'm still early enough in the game where the steam sail will probably pay for itself. However, I have the treasure map, so money should not be a problem. I'm going to re-roll this and get the compass, which was that was a fantastic re-roll. This is going to save me so much of a headache in the, uh, the end game, so that was a good move. Um, of course, I was hoping for Book of Revelations. Um, no dice, but that's okay. Now we just have to keep our reflexes up. I can really use a spirit heart to kind of give me a buffer here, but it's okay. Still feeling good. Um, in case you don't know, you turn into Guppy, turn into the cat, by getting three cat items in one playthrough, um, which is actually not the hardest thing in the world to do. Um, you just have to take some risks, though, because some of those guppy items um, are not very good. So you have to risk getting kind of stuck with one. I got a couple keys. It's tempting to... Okay. That is maybe not worth it, but it's not going to make or break me. I still have my... Oh, shit. I still have my Wheel of Fortune in case I need it. Okay. Let's see how this goes. So pretty annoying boss to actually be facing here, and as you can see, I am not doing good. Luckily, this loadout is actually very good for Gertie, um, because anything he spawns will die quickly to my fly army. Man, those flies over there. Die, 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 die. Fuck. It's not hurting me that much. It just means I have to start over. It was a pain, but... And I got a key for some reason. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm going to really just need to keep, since, uh, just really keep everything down here. No, you don't get to spawn anything, friend. Let me see how, like, the incredible amounts of damage I'm doing to it, though. It's very quick. This is how that first fight should have went. Um, the box. I'm very happy with that, actually. This is going to be one of everything. Um, ooh, yeah. That's great. 
Let's use the first. Life up. That's actually, I wish that hadn't happened there. Um, and the reason why is because this, uh, this card here will bring me to a deal with the devil. Oh, Krampus. I'll take that. This is actually perfect. Because the deal with the devil um, combos really well with the, um, the nine lives. Because you can just give up one of your lives for anything, no matter how many hearts it costs. Krampus um, gives me either the lump of coal, uh, which increases damage the further away something is. Fuck. Um, it's only really good with, like, high... This is bad, though. Um, high range, which I don't have. Um, but anything you re-roll in this room gets re-rolled for a devil item. So I got the contract, which or the pact, which is much better. Damage up and two spirit hearts. That was a fantastic use of my time. Great. That's amazing. That would have given me flying if, uh, if I didn't already have it. But, um... So I'm going to come out of this with base health, plus two spirit hearts, several damage ups, um, flying guppy. I'm doing great. Um, and a lot of that is due to, so lucky toe is good and gives me a better drops. Keeping that wheel of fortune in case I need some items and heading on down. And I can go, I can time this out perfectly to, uh, you know, for the, uh, the item room. So I might not need to reroll. So I'm going to check it out. Range up is a passive don't really need it. Um, so I'm probably going to re-roll that because there's a good chance it could be something better, actually. No enemies on this floor for some reason. Which means few re-rolls, actually. Which is a little bit frustrating. But, oh, hello. Lots of money. Sorry about that if the uh, screen went blank for you for a second. It did for me. I pushed my mouse button with my keyboard. So tons of money. The shop very well could have greed net. Ooh, that's interesting. Right. Oh, that's worth it. So speed and range up. Definitely don't need that range up now. And definitely don't need any more speed ups for the game. So I'm going to be actively avoiding speed ups. Because um, I, well, maybe one more speed up, but I'm getting to the point where like, I'm going to get so fast I run into stuff. You are worth my time, probably. So these guys can give deal with the devil items when they pay out. I have enough spirit hearts to make this worth fucking around with. Alright. What do we got here? Judgment, which will also give me a beggar. Which I have enough money for. Two of clubs, which will double my bombs. I'm going to go ahead and use that now. Oh, the... Hey, thank you, Book of Revelations. So that's definitely what I'm going to take in the end, but I would love to get um, a little bit more other stuff first. Um, this is the only thing that's really worth it for that. Um, I can probably re-roll that pick. Uh, eventually. And then not re-roll this. So I'll take this. Re-roll that pick eventually. Um, and now I am getting, I am going to take that, man, there's so few enemies on the stage. I am going to take that Book of Revelations with me, but I want to be able to re-roll some stuff first. And I want to get some hearts to use that double beggar some more. Ugh. So much money. Any shops from here on out are just going to have greed. I'm really glad I didn't buy the Steam sale. So now we are going to go re-roll um, this. And even if I had gotten hearts, kind of interestingly, I don't want to re-roll that Book of Revelations. So I need to, that means I'm not going to be able to re-roll whatever the devil gives me, which is kind of tricky. Um, yep. This guy will pay for himself. Uh, let's go ahead and just do this for security's sake. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to re-roll whatever the devil gives me. So, um... See if I can't get some parts while I'm on the side of the map. Oh, that's excellent. That's fine. Mm 
any money that comes out of there, I'm going to let bum friend have because uh, he will give me hearts. Probably. Thank you. Thank you. And this is, I don't, like any, I'm gonna, I'm like guaranteed a greed thing. So, and I have the secret room coming up. I'm not worried about spending my money here, really. Huh. I really probably should have spent that. Well, that's interesting. Um, okay, so now I have... Now, keep in mind, I can't re-roll anything this guy gives me, which is a bummer. Um, missing page is not better than Lucky 2. Pay out, dude. You asshole. Okay. There wasn't a heart on sale in the uh, shop, was there? Not that I can get it right now, but... Yes, there was. Fuck. That's a mistake. That's okay. Um, I still want to come back to that guy if I can get some... Can I blow you up now? Weird. Oh, that's great. Okay. So far, so good. Um, that's gonna probably be worth it. Good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the curved horn is damage up. That's actually great. Um, this won't hurt me on my way in. It will hurt me on my way out, but you can get devil, rooms item, devil room items in here. So That time it didn't turn out to be worth it, but a lot of times it does. I'm very happy I have the cur curved horn. It's going to be a bummer to let that go for the, um, the Polaroid, but I will. I really would like, I mean, I'll get some hearts from the boss too, but I really like that double beggar to pay out. I mean, I'm aware of the gambler's fallacy as a thing, but I put a lot of money into him. Um, this is pretty lame. He can't give me anything I want. Um, he's easy to beat, I guess, and I can get a deal from the devil, a deal with the devil, which I did, which is great, and a heart, which is great. All right, what do we got in here? Yeah, um, damage up is going to be worth it. Um, I don't think I can reroll this. No, it doesn't matter though because I'm not taking that out. So, um, yeah, I, I realized that I gave up my, my heart. I was going to be able to give this Demon Beggar. Um, Demon Beggar gets one more shot, but if not, not a big deal. I got some laughs. We had some last even bigger. We had some last D6. So this is my setup for the rest of the game. I'm doing great damage, the Pact and the Mark, um, and Meat. Um, I could use some Tears Up because that synergizes really well with the Flies from Guppy. I'm flying, which is awesome. I've got Book of Revelation, which should give me in some get me in health. Um, Um, that's great. I'll take the Miner's Helmet. It's going to show me where the super secret room is. I'm still going to have to use a bomb for it, but that's worth grab nabbing. It's not as good. It's like a shittier version of the X-Ray Specs, but that's excellent. Two Spirit Hearts. Thank you. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. That's fantastic. That's great. Everything's coming up, Gary. 
some leapers. Um, the trick, these guys are real common. And I mean, you can kind of see, even if I couldn't fly though, just circle strafing is what you want to do. Um, it's probably, let's well, not greed in that room actually, because uh, it would show up with my thing. So it's going to be worth going over here and checking the secret room. Um, because if I get enough money for something, the shop should actually have an item. These champion uh, Isaacs are not the easiest thing in the world. Flies. Um, I'll blow it up. Getting coins is useful. And I paid for my bombs to get in here. And I'll open that. Why not? Hangman is couldn't be more worthless. But you live, you learn. The trick to these guys, I find, is hitting them on the side like that. they tend to turn around a little too quick to actually hit them in the back, I find. Um, nope. I'm gonna save some keys. Oh, well that sucks. I feel like that guy should have not shot. So the one thing that sucks is there's going to be a big damage down once I have to give up this curved horn. Um, nope. I would do that for a passive, um, but that's it. Whoops. Oh, I thought I could. I'm glad I didn't. Being very good luck with spirit hearts. Oh, lucky shot. Okay, I'll pop that for no good reason, and let's go. This is a bummer. Um, this is definitely going to give me um, a cube of meat, which I don't want. At this point. I can still get a deal with the devil, which I did, which is great. Um, and I want to use one heart. Yes, anything that's worth one heart is worth grabbing, because I want to have zero hearts. I can't use this. Having zero hearts means when I pick up that Polaroid, I have permanent invincibility. So now I do not want to get any health. That's kind of an advanced Isaac Strat for you. Um, I would use that if I could. Uh, maybe not, actually. I can get spirit hearts from it, but not. I don't need another trinket. The flies will sometimes drag bombs with you. Hey, I'll take the Polaroid early. This might protect me from some damage on this floor. I'm going to take it at the end of this stage anyway, so. As much as I love damage. Health, you know, playing defensively is more important at this point. Uh, that is no problem. have enough keys for that. Balls of steel. You're paying for yourself, bum friend. That's a garbage item. I'm going to pick it up anyway, just to use it once, or to grab it, but that's it. Okay. Um, it's worth exploring this floor because I'm pretty powerful, and uh, every six rooms I get to you, actually, we use up my that one penny bothering me. Thank you. Um, so I'm unlikely to get too hurt, especially with um, the uh, Floroid. And uh, I would like to get some, no? Get some more charges on the Book of Revelation.
only be worth it for a passive. You are worth it, um, but I don't have enough money for you. Sure. No, no, no. I want to give those to this guy. You guys can pay out really quick. They very rarely do, but I'm worth a shot. I'm going to blow you up because... Because I get some dumb pills that I don't want. I'm saving the moon because on levels without a... Uh, where I don't know where the secret room is. Well, I mean, I guess I will know where the secret room is. Oh, hey. Tammy's head. Um, it'll teleport me to the secret room, which might save me some room traveling in the womb. It also will act as kind of like a random teleporter if I get the curse of blindness. So I'm, uh, I'm sure. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. I thought I still had that better alive. It's okay. Um, bombs and keys are slowly becoming less valuable. Um, oh shit. Well, this is still gonna give me a net heart. I lost, well, I lost a heart, gained a heart. So net nothing. But if I hadn't gone back for it, I would have lost. So I didn't see that. I just saw, saw the flies. My goof. That's not perfect, Isaac. Having that balls of steel pill in the mix is really helpful. So here's mom. my fly army do its thing. No problem. Can use that. Might as well grab this because it's not hurting me. Can't do anything with that, so. Shot speed's not that useful. Um, you'll see the secret room is right next to the boss. That's great. Even though Greed's here, I'm going to fight him because I'm going to let the uh, beggar child... Oh. I would let the beggar child eat his stuff, but so that essentially saved me the floor. That was very useful. Pretty much any teleportation is useful in these later rooms. Um, so here is the, uh, what's his head? The non-pin, the new pin. Um, his name I can't remember right now. AKA Captain No Problem. Now, the only way I want to deal with the devil now is if I get a, a one health. And even then, it's a risky thing, because if I get one health, uh, and then there's only things for two health in there. Uh, so I didn't get one health. I'm going to take Squeezy, though, because Squeezy's excellent. I'm going to look and see what's in here. Um, Brimstone would be really nice right now, but since I don't have any hearts, it would take literally all of my... Uh, all of my spirit hearts to grab that. Not worth it. But that tears up is super useful. And again, synergizes super well with the fly army. What I got going on? And things are looking great. I'm gonna let my flies take out this guy. You notice I'm not like looking for the super secret room, even though I have the, uh, the Splunker's helmet. Um, that is because the, uh, the kind of the best things that's in those is um, trinkets, and I don't need any trinkets. library down there is kind of interesting, but I already have the Book of Revelations. If I didn't have the Book of Revelations, I would definitely grab and have that library. Well, that sucks. Oh, 
No problem. Cathedral on it up. Um, this will not really get me any... Actually, this will... Using two bombs here will allow me to skip one room. So two bombs for one room and also whatever he's going to give me here. Not the pill I would have wanted, but that's okay. Oops. So I've got that Poison Touch, if you recall, which synergizes really well with this item setup. If I do get hurt, I can just Kamikaze on him. They're probably offensive, I probably shouldn't say that. Um. Okay, gonna fight. Uh, bird's foot is definitely not worth my invincibility. So one thing about having this rapid fire and having the flies is he's going to shoot a lot. Um, so I'm not really going to be able to avoid getting hit. I can try. I'm probably going to get hit. When I do, I need to go up and poison him. And drop a bomb. But this is no problem. I definitely got this chest in the bag. So this run is very similar to the one that I lost as far as quality, actually. So that's great. My meat cube and my pretty fly doing some good defense work, actually. That's how I'm down in the chest. And the chest is interesting. I love coming to the chest with a uh, D6 because every treasure chest in the... Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually very interesting. Okay. Definitely take Rainbow Baby. If I do forget me now, I will get a brand new chest. So let's use this once. And then I think getting four new items is probably worth giving up the one and a half spirit hearts I would get. I'm going through here. So that is what we shall do. Die, buddies. You guys are tenacious. Deck of tarot cards worth picking up for one. Uh, sure. Whoops. Fuck. That's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Alright. Did I use my Book of Revelations? Yes. Okay, so if I go in here... And I get four new items. Oh no, I only have two keys! Oh man. Um, with my poison, this is probably better. I only have one key. Two keys. That's rough. It's okay. I might be getting some more. Every if I get more keys, I'm, I'll use them. So. And Book of Shadows is pretty good. That's gonna allow me to do immense amount of damage to the boss. Ugh. I don't really need to min max and fuck around for keys though, because oh well, thank you. If I would have picked that up, actually, back there, I would not have been able to get that, so... I probably should have done that. So double the little mini-monstros, you just need to bait them into doing that laser attack. If you can. If you can't. What you don't want is one of them to be doing the laser attack and one of them not. Gives you a little bit too much to worry about. Um, Dead Sea Scrolls sucks. This is kind of a tough room. I have bombs, which is nice. You eat a lot of bombs. Okay. 
tears up. I'll take it. We're not going to fuck around for keys. We're just going to fight the boss. So first, go invincible for 12 seconds. Poison and do a lot of damage. I can really just tank this. No problem. Goodbye. Little blue baby. Alright, and that's Binding of Isaac. Making decisions right. Um, took some risks. But they all worked out in the end. And hopefully you enjoyed watching this. And have a good one. And I'll see you with Rebirth.